Good morning, YouTube. It is cold and foggy. Can't tell. It is uh, just, let's see, before six or before seven o'clock, um, December 11th. And uh, we're uh, gonna try some fish. It is 29 degrees out here in Lake Palestine. And uh, yeah, man, it's cold. So we're gonna try fishing again. We're gonna do the bridge like I did in my last video uh, for just a tad bit. Then I'm gonna go look for fish. I've got some time today as long as I don't freeze to death because uh, I can't find my gloves for the life of me. So I have my work gloves. That's what I'm using today. Whew, it's gonna be a hard one. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, man, we're gonna see what happens here. Uh, luckily I found my, my hat, got my no, nice little bonehead hoodie, or not hoodie, but uh, whatever this thing is, fleece cap. They got them on the website, guys, if you like them, go get them, they're warm. And uh, anyway, we're gonna try to manage this fog and let's see what happens. Now stay tuned. Y'all hear that noise? Road noise? That's a bunch of suckers having to go to work today. <laughs> I shouldn't be that way, sorry. I'm fishing. Man, it's cold. Good night. Look at all this fog. I'm gonna be honest with you. Coming through there a minute ago, I was really worried. I couldn't see 10 feet in front of my boat. I was worried somebody's gonna come up on me, go in the opposite direction, which I don't think it would happen today, but you never know. And then all of a sudden the bridge just popped out of nowhere. That was a little scary, a little unnerving. All right guys, so once again today, I'm using my same rig that I was using the other day. I've got a leader with a jig on the bottom. I got a double weight system right here. I'll be trolling under the bridge. And let's just see what we get. Uh, we're gonna do this for a while. Probably catch about 12, 14 fish, kind of depending on how good it's doing. And then uh, we're gonna jump out to some brush piles. I'm gonna figure out where these things are. Uh, they, they're probably suspended out in the deep, but I know they do come back in the shallow sometimes, so uh, we'll try some of the shallower brush piles and we'll try some of the, the structure that's uh, about 30 feet deep and kind of see where we're at. I'm gonna start out fishing about 15 feet down. Um, once again, you catch them, you need to bring them up slowly. If they come up too fast, they come up too fast, they pressurize, their eyes will bug out, you'll kind of see their belly distended. So, uh, although I am keeping these today, I gave all my fish away already. We got one. Mm, decent.
You fishing? I'm wishing right now. I'm working on it. <laughs> Are you heading out to the lake? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get on down the road, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, you probably did a good thing by waiting for a little bit, man. I'm, I've been on the lake for, well, since daylight, and it is cold. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's cold out there now. Oh my gosh, it was 29 when I got on the lake, and I looked and didn't have any gloves. I'm like, God dog it, really? So I found some work go gloves in the back of my trailer. They're about as insulated as, well, putting water on my hands. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad, man. Oh lordy, where are you fishing today? Uh, man, I think I'm uh, headed to Tawaki. I'm going to go get on the boat with one of my buddies, man. Okay. Man, I've got yeah, to fish Tawaki. I've never fished it. I don't know why. It's just, well, because it's a new lake and it's so far away. Well, it's not that far, but it's it's farther than everything around here is, you know? So, uh... Right. I mean, it's just a, it's one of those things when you, when you get that exploratory spirit, you just, you know, try it out. Yeah, I don't think I have it right now. It's too cold. But, uh, uh maybe this yeah, stuff... Yeah, is... I totally understand. <laughs> so, I just figured it was Wednesday, so you might be fishing. Yeah, I'm uh, man, my, uh, I, I, I kind of stuck around yesterday waiting for the rain to subside. Yeah. And, uh, and I've just been gone, you know, for five o'clock in the morning. And, uh, so I helped my, help my wife get my daughter ready for school. And I was able to, you know, play with them a little bit, pray with them a little bit. And You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Man, I'm trying to be. I, I really am. Appreciate it. All right, brother, I'm going to get back under this bridge. I'm going to actually... Yeah, you better stay from under that bridge. That's the first place. Oh, man, I've, I've been... It's amazing. I pulled, I went ahead and pulled live scope out today and, uh, and started. And those fish are down there. I've caught four in the first two poles, but then they kind of... I think I'm focusing on live scope too much and not the fish. Is trolling working better for you? Yeah. Man, that was pretty interesting, man. I, I was like, man, what is Chris? <laughs> you started hanging them goddamn hooks. I was like, oh, that's what Chris is doing. <laughs> yep. I, I need to bring you out here one time. Man, I, listen, I love bridge fishing, man. I really do. Yeah. You, you just, all you got to do is come out here, we'll get on my boat, and I'll show you what I'm doing. That sure. works. Yeah, man. All right, man. Well, good luck fishing. Let me know how you go, how you do. All right, man. All right, brother. Bye. Well, I watched him run in and hit that thing hard. to do on my, on my uh, counter. I got a dual counter. So my white is the one I'm keeping. Those are the ones I throw away. So I get an accurate count of how many fish I, I get. And one thing I'm paying attention to today is I was asked in the comments on my last video, uh, what side, is, there's one, is there one side that works better? And you know what, I don't know. Uh, I've never noticed it. There's some pelicans over there. Anyway, um, today, so far, this side, the east side of the bridge has worked better. But, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, here we go, about time. I sat there and watched that guy play with him for a little bit. He wasn't having it. Then he got hungry. Woo! 
gonna look good on my plate. All right, guys. Big old East Texas black crappie. Look at that. Man, look how fat they are. Wow, beautiful fish. Mm. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Look at that, let's, let's measure this guy. Fifteen and a half inches. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, baby. Man, look at this. Had to take a picture for old fishing Ken. He's on his way fishing right now. Look at that, guys. East Texas crappie. You cannot beat them. 15 three quarter inches. Big old mouth, big old eyes. Look at that. Woo! Man, that belly. They're getting fat. Eyes not bugged out. 15 feet down. Woo! Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. circuit just swam up and hit it hard. Got a bunch more right down there. Wish these cars, wish they'd all get to work so they quit bouncing around me. Whoa. All right, now we're in the we're in a swing. Calm down, little man. Man, look how fat. Whew. Same poles, man. I'm just hitting them. Going back and forth. Make some tasty bites tonight. Got him. Decent. I don't think he's huge. Well, no, I lied. It's a good size. I will make an eater. but it will work. Mm, I don't know. Oh gosh. 12 inches, he's good. And they're slow on the bite, vertical jigging. But they're biting. Phone. Whoo! Dude, he straightened my line out. Idiots like that that just come through here and almost flip me over just now. So I'm catching these and he's not. Obviously he's not because he's moving. Anyway, look. Sorry. 
Another big East Texas fish. Let me see what he uh, does. Fifteen inches. Fifteen and a half inches, two and a half pounds. You cannot beat that. Look at that. Man. 